is another rainy day and uh, I'm out getting a computer that I don't need. Uh, this computer is a Alienware Steam, uh, Steam computer. It's one of the ones that, uh, the Steam boxes that came out for Alienware has an i7 4th uh, gen processor which is the same one that my laptop got. Uh, there's honestly no reason I should be picking this up because my laptop is actually slightly stronger since it has more installed RAM and the graphics cards are about the same. But the reason why I'm picking this up is because it's $100 for a Steam box with the controller. Uh, it's an amazing deal. I could not pass up on, so I'm going to pick it up, uh, load up my Steam games, probably uh, uninstall Steam on my laptop since I wouldn't need it, and uh, see uh, how powerful this Steam box can really be. Um, but I'm extremely excited to pick this up for $100. I have to drive about 25 minutes south of where I live in uh, Oakdale to Burnsville. Uh, but I'm extremely I to pick this up and stay tuned. Hello, this is actually It's not ideal. I actually had to meet him a little bit further. It's still pretty rainy, um, but in the Heidi bag. Um, here it is. It is Alienware Steam Box. Um, has an i7 in it. Um, looks extremely clean, which is one of the things you want to make sure that. If you're buying something online, you wanted to make sure that it's clean and all that. So, um, main reason I bought is because I have a fascination with Alienware. But yeah, it comes with the Steam controller, uh, power brick, and HDMI. 100 bucks is an incredible deal. Like, I can, if I want to, I can turn around and flip this online for. Uh, 250 300 easy because this is the i7 one terabyte and that like I believe that even the i i3 goes for like 250 300 online so incredibly good deal <laughs> so uh, stay tuned hello this is Dr. Ram. I'm sorry I apologize for the view of this I cannot find my uh, capture card anywhere but this is my alienware uh, Steam box computer as you can see I have definitely done some modifications to this This will now serve as my home media center. I'm gonna close out of this um, I am right now controlling this with a steam controller. You can see the mouse moving I can also do my PlayStation controller, which is what I use for um, Dolphin games because for some reason, the Steam controller does not work on that. I can kind of figure it out, but have choose not to right now. I'm still working on this box a lot, so uh, there's a lot going on with this. So, obviously, I, this is Windows 10 now. It is a purchased co uh, copy of it. I, uh, I believe this is the professional one. I think I bought a key online for a couple bucks off of eBay. Um... And then got uh, Steam OS on here. I still have mo most of my games on here. I'll open up Steam. I don't know why this is running now. Quit. But I will open up Big Picture so you can see uh, what I have on here right now. Turn down the sound a little bit because that's uh, really crazy. Um, but yeah, you can go to my library. Um, I don't have that much installed on here right now. Um, I did have Dolphin on here. I actually need to delete that. But, uh, I don't have that much on here right now. I do have a, or I have 61 games on here, but nothing too crazy. Um, King is Dead's pretty good. L.A. Noir. Portals, one of my favorite games to play on Steam. Um, I'm not on here that often, hence why there's not that many games. I do have a bunch more games I can install, I just have chose not to. So I'm going to go back and uh, get out of Big Picture. And then come back to the screen. Uh, Dolphin, which is, this is how I use Dolphin right now. 
these are the games I have on right now. The Wii games are not showing properly. Uh, that's probably because I haven't hooked it up properly or whatever. Besides, uh, Tatsumi, Tatsunoku versus Capcom. That game's amazing. And that plays pretty well on here. I got all this set to uh, run on full HD. It looks amazing. I will probably show that off at some point if you guys want to. Comment below. Let me actually close out of that. And then uh, one of the big things on here is obviously Cody. This is, again, a media center for my family. So I showed my daughter how to uh, log in on this and watch movies. I am also going to be hooking up an external hard drive on here soon. So I can add more movies and all of our music and stuff on here. I'll go to videos. I haven't actually added any of the modifications or anything on here. Um, I'll just press videos. Show off the movies real quick. I always just go to uh, title. Three ninjas. Goofy movie. My daughter loves this look of this because there's just it looks very professional, and that's one of the reasons why I chose to go with Cody as a front end for my movies. Again, I'll probably be putting a lot more on here in the near future. But of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Who Framed Runs Rabbit, Wreck It Ralph, a lot of good stuff on there. Go back, go back, go down to the TV shows. I don't have that much on here now. I'm going to try to talk as quickly as I can. Cold Monkeys. Digimon, the first two seasons. Kill, uh, Kill's not actually on here. None of the anime stuff shows on here because of the way it works. Um, Star vs. The Force of Evil, I actually do love that show. Steven Universe. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for my daughter. The X-Men Animators, I have a lot more on my regular external hard drive. But once I buy a bigger one, I will be moving a lot more stuff on here. Um, and then at some point I might add... Some programs from Cody to add more stuff on here, but for now I am just leaving it as the stuff I actually own digitally myself, and not go with any of the uh, programs you can have on Cody. Now this one is uh, a LaunchBox, um, really good program. I don't have a crazy amount of games on here because. Again, this is this is more of a media center. I mean, I'm going to add some really cool stuff on here. But uh, here goes Big Box. You install it on LaunchBox, and then you I use Big Box to make it look pretty. As you can tell, the screensaver is Legend of Zelda. Um, I did get a new fireplace while this loads up. This is taking a very long time to load up. It doesn't usually take that long to load up. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get um, Redream on here real quick. All right. Big box. There goes Big Box. Um, so here, yeah, there's the arcades. You can go through the games. It looks really cool. Very professional looking. So that's what I like about that. Go back. Haven't actually used this controller on on this. I don't actually know how to go back for sure without doing the keyboard. So, but yeah, there's the arcade games. Give me just one moment. All right, I figured it out. Um, I have some 64 on here, some Sega CD, Genesis. Master System and uh, Super Nintendo. That's all I put on here for now because I have other programs to run other things. I am going to log out of here if I know how to. But I did buy the uh, buy this program to be my front end for these emulators. So stay tuned to Read Dream. Hey, we are back. This is uh, Redream right here. This is what I use for my uh, 
for my Dreamcast emulation. Uh, I have this running at 4K since I bought the license. The license was only five bucks for this. Um, I decided to buy a lot of licenses for this stuff because um, it just will look better. And I mean, the licenses for the most part are extremely cheap. Uh, the BIOS, it does the BIOS for you, so it's really cool. Do the cover art, it looks very professional. See if I can scroll down. I don't remember how to do that on this controller. Oh, there it goes. I think I got, yep, Jack Ryan Radio, some really good games in here. Of course, Sonic and all that good stuff. Typing of the Dead to use on my keyboard. This is actually, yeah, Crazy Taxi 2. I believe this is, uh, I don't remember what that is, but, uh, yeah. Redream is a really good program. I definitely highly recommend that for Dreamcast emulation. I have uh, Citra. I only have a couple games on here now. Let me see what I got. Um, I haven't played through much of this. Um, but it does work really well on this computer. Let me close out the one. I don't want to install it now. Uh, what do I got? Uh, Story of Seasons. Shovel Knight. Um... Phoenix Wright, New Super Mario Brothers, Luigi's Mansion, Captain Toad, some pretty cool games for the 3DS. I mainly did it because I can. This computer is strong enough to run that pretty well. Um, PPSPP2 is, uh, runs quite well at higher uh, resolutions. I, of course, crank it up a little bit stronger to fill a full screen. Um, some pretty good Dreamcast game, or PSP games. Uh, you know, Personas, Power Stone, uh, Kingdom Hearts, Fantasy Star. You got some, uh, some anime games that you guys probably won't recognize. Um, this is Toradora. Game I very much enjoy. I'm going to close out that. And of course, I always have my computer protected from... Uh, craziness going on. Right, this is about to cut out, so give me just a moment. Okay, we are back. Again, I'm going to be adding uh, some stuff on here for my family. My wife, she very much loves um, music, so I've downloaded the program Media Monkey. Well, I actually pin it to the taskbar now. That is going to be for our music. I don't have anything on here right now because I'm running out of space on the computer already, but that is going to be used for my uh, my wife when we put all of our music on here. It's going to run pretty well. Allow access. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I don't have anything on here, but once I do, it will be uh, loaded up here. So this is what I have on my media center. Um, a lot of emulation uh, again, most of that I actually play on my PS4 controller. Not sure how well you can see that, but uh, Cody runs really well on here. I love having movies and having my access to some of my daughter can uh, watch some movies that uh, we all enjoy. It actually reminds me I'm going to clean up uh, my anime out of that uh, folder so I can have a specific anime folder. So. When I watch anime, it won't be on this, it won't be on Cody, it will be through uh, VLN player, which is pretty common if you know anime. That's the main player we use. Um, I think I have it. Uh, VP, or v, yeah, VLN, I believe is what it's called. But anyways, this is my media um, computer. End up costing with all the programs and licenses that I bought on here. About a hundred and twenty-five dollars. So this is a hell of a good deal to have a media center with this much power to play games. You can play, um, you can play um, movies on here quite well. I have a lot of music on here. I still have a decent chunk of space. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much I have. Uh, about 200 gigs so yeah a decent amount of space and once I do some moving around and all that stuff of uh, uh, probably download some more of my uh, games I own on Steam I'll probably buy more eventually on Steam as well 
um, put some more emulators and ROMs and stuff on here. It's going to be very interesting to see the finished product, but this is it for now. It is in my new uh, TV stand. It costs a huge chunk of money um, because of the fireplace down there. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it was eight fifty, I believe. Um, I actually got a really good deal on that as well. But I do have uh, without doing a small room tour, Switch, Xbox One. I can't even fit my PS4 in there because uh, it's a little too small for my PS4 Pro in there. So I might put a PS4 Slim in there at some point. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of my uh, Alienware project. If there's anything you guys recommend, comment below. Until next time, this is Dutch May. Make sure you guys continue getting your game on. Peace.